Hi, I hope everyone's doing great today. I thought I would show how I restick my mat. And I know that there's a lot of different videos out there on resticking their mat, but um, I wanted to uh, share this with my friend that I'd mentioned that um, she is um, kind of getting started with her Cricut and um, this would also apply, I'm sure, to the Silhouette um, cutting machine if you have those mats. Because I've heard other people actually use the Cricut mats for their Silhouette cameos. And so, <clears throat> anyway, I just thought I would share the process of how I do it. And so, I'll be starting off in the kitchen and then I'll be moving back to my little crafty space. So, uh, please ignore the... I don't know how well the lighting's going to be <laughs> for this. I'm trying to keep the frogs out of my throat. I think it's allergy season kicking in into high gear. Um, this, what I always do is before I clean my mat, I scrape it first and get any debris off. And I already did this step, so um, we could avoid the loud sound you having to listen to that. And then what I do is I, um, I get my mat a little bit wet underneath the kitchen sink. And... Then I, I think you can pretty much use any type of a dish soap, but what I do is, um, if I have the regular Dawn on hand, I'll just go ahead and use this, and I'm almost out. I'll turn that upside down. And I do have the, this dish soap, but... I just, I try to get it real thick on here, the dish soap, and just um, work it in on the mat with my fingers, good old fingers, <laughs> and um, I don't know if that's quite thick enough. Usually, I get it pretty, it's almost white from the soap. I get it really good and saturated with the soap. That's better. I can, I can feel the goo under my fingertips. <laughs> <clears throat> so I just kind of work that in, and then after I get that worked in a little bit, I let it set for a few minutes. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how long exactly you have to let it sit, but um, on my time, I'll watch it on my stove over here. I have a timer on it too, but I don't think I really need to do that. I'll just... Um, let that sit for a few minutes, and then I will <clears throat> come back. So just leave that there. I'm going to rinse my hand off. Okay, so Miss Ancy Pansy that I am, <laughs> I set my timer for 10 minutes after I applied that and when I left off with you. I set my timer for 10 minutes, and it, I don't know if it ran for a minute or two, and I had to go ahead and start scraping. So it didn't sit on there for 10 minutes and the timer may go off while I'm speaking to you. I don't know. But anyway, um, I went ahead and scraped this first half of the mat and it scrapes real easy. This is just an old um, Tim uh, Ranger scraper that I picked up at a scrapbook store a long time ago. And um, just, you can use, some people use, I also have a... Um, a hotel room key and so um, just work it across your mat and get to remove and scrape any of that goo and it's coming up really good um, so I'm going to ah, see and I went and drank some of my coffee and everything in between so that just tells you you know I'm just miss anti because I can't wait for the timer I got things to do so um, you can see how that's clearing off the mat. I will go ahead and finish scraping this. My hand's already getting tired. Um, so I'll have to start, stop, take breaks from it because my hand's... Um, but I will be right back. So I'm in the process of rinsing this mat off. And I want to make sure that you get it rinsed off thoroughly. Um, because you wouldn't want it to be blowing bubbles later on you. <laughs> you know, like alfalfa and little rascals. He drank some dish soap and then he started singing and started blowing bubbles as he was singing. Yeah, I know, like a cricket that would actually do that. <laughs> 
So just, you know, rinse the soap off really, really good. And um, I'll check it and make sure I have all the residue off and it's completely clean. But it's looking good. That's what it looks like. Um, I will dry that off and I will meet you back at the ranch. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> I'm, um, I have my mat all dry, and um, since I removed all the residue, I could dry it off with my towel. And um, as you can see, it's nice and pretty and white. I am going to use my Aline's Tacket over and over, which is the same stuff that I use for... Um, I put this... I make my own dots on that paper that I showed you before. I just use a... Um, we use a Xyron sticker maker and I make my own little glue dots with this. Very handy. Very cost efficient. I like that. And then also, um, I don't know if I have it in a, I don't have one in the case yet. I'm reorganizing my stamps. But I also, if you, if you ever get a unmounted stamp in the mail, you can put this on the back of the stamp if you don't have the mounting foam. Uh, just apply this over the back and let it dry and it will stick on your foam mounting on your not foam mounting on your stamp um, press or your stamp block wh whichever you're using so what you do with this is for your Cricut mats or your or your silhouette um, you mix a ratio 50 50 of this glue and water so I am going to stir my concoction up now Oh, and by the way, you're not seeing any of that in the background. That is not there. <laughs> what you're not seeing is a little bit of a haul I did over the weekend that I got to do, and I just didn't get to put it away just yet, but you don't see that. <laughs> okay, so I, um, I have an old measuring cup that I keep for my crafty goodies, even though, you know, this will wash clean from it, but I... Um, I just keep it for that. It just kind of grosses me out to use, it. use something for crafting and then turn around and use it for food. That's just not, uh, you know, I don't like that. But anyway, um, this looks a, just a tad bit thin to me, so I'm, I thought I would add just a maybe a little, a little bit more and stir that in. Hopefully that's not too much, but... Um, it kind of looks like a thick, oop, and you're going to see the messy science professor here. <laughs> well, I'm making a huge mess. I'm known for that. Um, anyway, it's, you know, kind of milky white, you know, because of the glue, of course. But um, all you do is you take this mixture and, and see, I can, I got a little bit on my fingers and I can feel the tackiness, so I think it's going to work great. Um, you just apply it, what I do is I apply it up and down and, um, and then back across. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply this, let me see, Pretty thin. Okay, so I hope you guys aren't laughing at me because I'm probably making a fool of myself. <laughs> but you know, like I said, we all learn together. I just, I'm just sharing how I do this. I got a little bit too much on there. Um, but what I was gonna say earlier is after I go across it. I like to let this layer dry first before I go back across. And I should have grabbed, brought a paper towel in here. Um, let's see, I'm going to get glue on my haul goodies, my mess that you do not see in the background. <laughs> um, just kind of got a stick in this one. That's not going to work too good. I'm going to come back with the cloth. I'm going to kind of wipe the edge of that off and let that dry a little bit and I will come back. Okay. Um, 
I went ahead and went over it with my heat gun because, you know, Miss Ancy Pantsy, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to uh, continue on this process. One reason why I'm trying to hurry up and get this done is I'm working on a layout and I was needing to do some cuts and my, I was getting to the point where my paper wasn't wanting to stick, so I really needed to get this done. Um, but I was debating about not even going back across this way. Um, usually I do like two coats. Because um, I did the first one and I got quite a bit down. And I thought, I probably don't even really need to go sideways. But um, I decided to go ahead. And you can see I went around the edges with my um, paper towel just to kind of clean up the edge. And um, just makes it look a little bit neater. It'll probably stick on my machine because <laughs> if I don't get it off that edge... That's what I'm trying to avoid, you know, getting it all gooey and sticky. Because this could be, this is pretty tacky stuff. So, um, so I'm going to dry this with the um, glue gun. And I think I will let it sit and cure while I have a little bit of lunch. And then I will come back to you after that. So... I will be right back. Well, not right back, but I will be back. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So this is, I cleaned off the, all, all around the green edge there where the rollers will go. And um, this is the finished product. You want it to be able to come up like that and have good sticky. I think the paper and cardstock will stick just fine now. Um, earlier, I accidentally, just before I went to have lunch, <laughs> I said my glue gun, and I meant to say my heat gun, but you probably figured that and knew that that's what I meant. So anyway, this is my um, mat that is re-sticky, and if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Bye, and high five. <laughs>